Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain a few of the tweaks that I like to do with any theme that I'm using. These are all really simple things, and they just take a few seconds, but I find it really helps to make Reaper easier to use. So we're going to start with the transport, and you can do all this stuff through the right-click menus and everything like that. I'm zoomed in on my screen for a screen capture, so the menus get cut off. What I'm going to show you is just through the action list because everything we need is right here. But we're going to start off with putting the transport at the top of the main window. So the default position is transport docked at the bottom of the main window. And we're going to move this up to the top of the main window. So we'll run that. It puts it up at the top. And then the next thing we want to do is center. Center transport controls. And that just puts the buttons in the middle. I find it a lot easier to see where those buttons are and to see the status. Over the years, I've just found it a lot easier to see my time at the left, my selection on the right, and my transport controls in the middle. The next thing is the project play rate. I'm actually going to turn off the show play rate control. That's this area here, and this lets you um, change the speed of your project, but there is a problem of accidentally moving this control and any recordings that you do with it get out of time once you reset that control. I've seen a lot of people get into trouble with using this accidentally. It's not something that I actually use in my productions, so I just hide it completely. You can right click here again, but this is all in the action list. So transport show play rate control, just going to click that and it will hide it. So this area here is now clear of the play rate control. All right, so the next thing is all in the theme tweak window. So we're just going to type in theme. And we're going to scroll down to show theme tweak configuration window. Open that. Now this window controls the majority of the colors and um, coloring effects involved with the theme that's not hard coded into the theme file. And there are a couple things in here that I would like to change. So the first one is draw colored bar on selected media item. So let's just put in a empty item here. And when you have a lot of items, it can be a little tricky to see like which one's actually selected at times. Here it's a little obvious, but if this highlights in white and the track is white, then you might not be able to know that the item is selected. What I like to do is draw a colored bar on the selected media item. And then I click this and I choose a nice color. Like um, I tend to use a, a blue color, maybe a little bit brighter than that, something like that. Now there's this blue stripe on the item as well. We can also do this for selected takes. So I'm going to set this to a red. So when I have multiple takes in here, paste takes and items. Now there's two takes here. The active take is red. So blue to show that the item is selected and red to show that the take is selected. Back to the theme tweak window. I also like to change the colors of the grid lines because this gray on gray grid lines makes it really hard to see the, the grid lines. I tend to do something more like a purple. So let's just choose this purple color here the start of beats, maybe we'll do like blue and in between do that, but maybe a little, uh, maybe a little darker. And you just adjust that to taste. That's already a lot easier to see uh, instead of gray on gray. I'm already happy with that. If we change our grid size to 16th notes, we can see those in between ones. And that's that's pretty easy to see through the items, whether they're highlighted or not. You can see those grid lines now. If they were back to the default, which is uh, sort of like a, a gray, something like that, I find that pretty hard to see. Something like this blue works really well. And as usual, adjust to taste. And you know what? That's it. That's the basic stuff that I change pretty much every time I do a clean install of Reaper or set up Reaper for someone else. Those are the things that I like to tweak. 
uh, without installing a different theme. And even if I do install a different theme, these are things that I tend to change again, just to, for my own preference. I like that red stripe. I like that blue stripe. I like the centered transport controls. I want that play rate control hidden. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.